what's up y'all welcome back to my channel i am back here with another video this video will be for my let me see hold on let me check the stats let me check let's see this video will be for This reading will be for my Sagittarius, so let's get into this Sagittarius. Mind you, I already knew that I want to do a Sagittarius reading. I don't even know how I forgot. Is this hot? Ooh, this thing is hot. Ooh. That smoke made it hot. I brought my crystals out here today, y'all, so we can have a little extra protection and healing and energy around us today because we need it the energies are really really high in the air and um we gotta protect our energy so we already have some sage and palo santos burning already Sagittarius. i don't know if you can see that but um we're gonna start off with the witch tarot deck if you are new to my channel thank you so much for stopping by okay Thank you so much for checking in, stopping by. If you did subscribe, thank you for subscribing to my channel. I do appreciate that. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back, my OGs. What's up? Y'all already know what we do. We're going to get straight into this. For some reason, I'm not sure why the spread looks, why the camera looks like it's focusing so much on the table. But we just going to go with it. You just want to go with it. I already shuffled, pre shuffled the cards off the camera, but I am going to shuffle the cards just a couple of um, times just to get in the flow of the reading. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I hope everybody is having a beautiful day today. Right now, it's Saturday, 1 43 p.m. Saturday, April 2nd. This is a timeless reading. I don't even know why I felt the need to tell you what today's date was. I don't know. Maybe that's significant to you, but let's get into this reading. I am going to say a quick prayer to connect with my spirit guides and angels to call them in and let them know that the coast is clear to come in to give me safe, clear messages. Okay, so we had these cards that came out, but we're not going to take them. The Sun card and the Page of Cups. My eyes was closed. That's why we're not going to take them. Because I was praying. And you can't just be like doing that. I'm still praying for what I need. Just going to send it that fast. Okay. Again, this reading is for the Zodiac sign of Sagittarius. Spirit, what's going on with my Sagittarius? What's going on with my Sagittarius? This is not a love reading, but I mean, if love come out, then I guess it is a love reading. The first card that came out is the lovers. Okay. And we also have My First Love by Avon playing on Pandora. So that song could be significant to you. A Leo. Taurus, Aquarius, or Scorpio could be significant to you as well, Sagittarius. Alright, we're going to get some more cards. I do see a divine wish being granted to you pretty soon, Sagittarius. Cycles are closing out of your life. Spirit angels, spirit guys, please give me some messages for the zodiac sign of Sagittarius. Ten of Swords. Oh, Sagittarius. Okay, spending a lot of time up in your head, you know. Um, mm, 
Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. 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 Mm-hmm. 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 Mm
So, um, this could be Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. This person is very emotional, okay? This person does want to give you an offer. But the only reason why I feel like this person want to give you an offer is because they look at you like a possession. Not like a relationship. Like, they want to control you kind of thing. Like, yeah, we got the King of Swords and then the, the Queen of Swords. And then the Four of Pentacles before that. Like, this person does want to offer you something, but it's because of, and we have the Empress here. It's because of who they see that you are, but they want you to be their possession. It's not like a relationship. It's like they're possessed. Like, they look at you like an item. Like, like that. Mm, that's weird. We gonna clarify all these cards. I don't know why this is going so slow. We already turning this in. Spirit, give me some more messages in regards to my Sagittarius. The Wheel of Fortune. So things are turning over in your favor. Um, cycles are ending. Old cycles, karmic cycles, are ending in your life. You need to know that your life is for the love. Um. And different possibilities through your path, through things changing with this Wheel of Fortune card, you will find new opportunities, new better options if you choose not to deal with this person. We had the Three of Pentacles here out as well. Like, yeah, this person is kind of like very controlling. Like, this person likes to watch you tell you what to do, watch what you do and how you do it. Like, this person is very observant of you. And this person really, for some reason, they come off like the boss to you. Like, this person could be really bossy or they think that they own you. I'm telling you something about possession. Then we have the four swords. Like, this person could be overbearing. Like, could you find something else to do? Like, I don't want you hovering over top of me. Like, please. So, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. We need one more card. Spirit, give me one more card, please. For my Sagittarius. Can y'all see this? Let me get this together. Okay. Spirit, give me an, one more card, please, for my Sagittarius. The Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, you tired of this person. This person is very draining. Um, this could have been somebody that did help you in your time of need, but it's kind of like you're helping me, but they're hindering you at the same time. It's like they're overbearing, like they're not allowing you to grow and learn and experience things on your own. For some of you guys, this person gets offended when you don't want their help. It's like, I'm so sufficient. Like, I could do this on my own. We're going to clarify. Oh, it's trusting me. What? I need to play something else, another station, because I thought this synchronicity station would do the dang thing, but they just, I don't know what's happening. Okay, so we got to clarify. Oops. We got to clarify. All of these cards, basically. Yeah, we're about to clarify them. Spirit, clarify the lovers card for the zodiac sign of Sagittarius, please. Why is the lovers card here? Mm. I knew it. I knew it. I said that you're about to cut this person off, honey. You do not want to deal with this person. This person could have given you so many different... They told me to turn this up. They said, let, let this play for a second. And then I'm going to get back to that. They said, let this play. Y'all need to hear this. I'm telling you, when you leave this person, um, for some of them, they will be feeling like, yeah, fuck. 
Damn, Cisco. They're going to be feeling like Cisco. Their life is incomplete. For some of y'all, I'm hearing this person look like Cisco, but without the blonde hair. The skin complexion, the gap. I think he had a gap. Did he have a gap? I don't know. Just something about his facial expression and his skin tone. Why do they want me to play this song for you? I do not want to get copyrighted. I don't want to turn this up. I swear, that's enough. Y'all can listen to that on your own time. I want to get back into the reading. So, clarifying the lovers card, we have the page of swords. The page of swords is out here. Clarifying the lovers because you are ready to cut this person off. Like, if this person did not do their healing, this person did not do the same amount of work that you did. The, the work of this shadow side. Um, working through the... the Working through the dark night of the soul. Working on the things that they know that they could do better, you know. When you know better, you do better. If you don't, you want. You got some people who know they full of shit. Some people who know about their bullshit. And they still won't do anything to better themselves. And knowledge is free. Power is free. The shit is for, fucking for free. So if you don't want to become no better person on your own off a of GP for a free, my nigga, then yeah, I'm good on y'all. We cut, you, cut your ass off too. Because you don't want to do nothing with yourself. You ain't going to go far being this kind of way. With dark night of the soul, baby. You ain't going to... Yeah. If you did not choose to move forward in a different direction with the Page of Wands energy, Spirit was going to pass judgment on you and this person because... Well, not saying it in a bad way on your behalf, but that was going to cause a tower moment. Yeah, we're going to come in and uh, shake some shit up. The universe wants you to get out this situation. I don't know, but I'm hearing that this person is dead inside. Like, this person, when you look into their eyes, like, they don't have no soul. This person has, like, a very dull personality, very dry. You can't pick from their tree. Like, they don't have any fruits. Like, their cup has run dry. The fool card. So you may be in your head, um, Sagittarius, about taking this leap of faith with spirit. Clarify the fool card. Who is? Uh -oh. The star. So you may be in your head, Sagittarius. You may be afraid, or you don't feel comfortable with taking this leap of faith with this Aquarius. But something about what I'm hearing about this new person, this could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, an air sign. Um, whoever this person is, it will be an equal give and take. This is the kind of person. Yeah, it will be a balance. We have the Six of Pentacles. And we have the Temperance, Sagittarius Energy. I'm telling you, girl. This person... This person who you are trying to get away from, this Shadow Energy, this Dark... I want to call him the dark knight of the soul. Can I call him that? I'm going to call him, I'm gonna call him the dark knight of the soul. So the dark knight of the soul person who you leaving, this person could have breadcrumbed you, could have been giving it to people. This is the kind of person that even told you that they wanted to be with more than one person. Playing games, acting like they was helping you, bringing you out of the cold. Whole time, this person ain't do shit but remind you of everything that you went through in the past. Like, you were asleep. For some of you guys, you were like under a spell, an illusion. Spirit, clarify this King of Cups. Ooh, my eyes is burning up in here, up in here. Spirit, clarify the King of Cups energy for me, please. Spirit, clarify the King of Cups, please. The Seven of Swords. Okay. I gotta give them a card out with this seven of swords. Give me one more card helping me out with this seven of swords energy. They gave me two more cards. Good, good, good. All right. Okay, so we got okay, King of Cups and then the Queen of Cups. Okay, that's so cute. Both of you guys are in your emotions. Right now, okay, so this new person and that baby trying to come in, this Cancer Pisces or Scorpio, this new person, right? This is the King of Cups 
um this person could have cancer pisces or scorpio within their chart they don't necessarily got to be that that zodiac sign but you guys are both in your emotions right now you both are like feeling some kind of way towards each other both of y'all wait for some of you guys from here y'all not in communication you waiting for this person to text you you they text this person waiting for you to text them or for you're waiting for them to text you um y'all playing like this whole power control game like where well i mean i'm gonna leave the door open like i ain't gonna block you but i ain't calling you neither so basically like before this is this could have been somebody you was um i don't know i'm just gonna tell you what i'm picking up this could have been somebody that you've been dealing with for some time, like talking to, like off of some friend status, but y'all like each other, right? And y'all talk often, but y'all, cause y'all get real deep. Like something about y'all conversations are deep, very fulfilling. You fulfill them. They just feel so emotional when they talk to you. They just feel so good and powerful and strong. And so do you. But those deep conversations lead to um, disagreements between y'all. And sometimes this person gets frustrated with your way of thinking. Hold on, let me turn this up. When I get that candy shop, I'll lick your lollipop. I'll put that thing on lock. I'll let you come on top and let that Nikki pop. Okay. I know, Rookie. Okay. Um, for some of you guys, this person loves your hair, loves your body, mm, picking up some sexual energy. But let me get back to what I was trying to say before I cut the music up. This person What I was picking up was that the fact that y'all be talking, y'all be having deep conversations, but y'all be having disagreements, like, to the point where y'all block each other. You'll block them, they'll block you, they'll unblock you maybe, you know, in a couple of hours, and then you unblock them in a couple of hours, something like that. But it was always like a back and forth thing, like this person blocking you, you blocking them. This time around, whatever argument y'all had, whatever disagreement y'all had, you didn't block them. You left the lines of communication open so, this, so that this person can come back in and communicate with you. Right now, I do see you trying to be strong, but both of you guys miss each other a lot. Like, why don't you just pick up the phone and call because y'all really want to be with each other. Y'all do. But some of you guys, this could be a same-sex kind of um, energy. Entergy. Y'all, this is one of my favorite songs. So it's crazy that it's coming on. I mean, no, it's not, but it is because I'm not on a station that it should be playing on. That's why I think it's a little weird. But mm -mm, red light special. For some of y'all, y'all like that whole y'all like that. Those 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 lights after dark. You know, them lights bring out delight in you you start performing and doing all kinds of things you ain't never did before because you got that red light special going on so the high priestess card did come out clarifying the will of fortune like i said whatever it is that happened with this lover's card not your king of cups this is two different energies this is new energy i'm talking about the person that's already you already slipping away from you already pulled your energy away from this is somebody the lover's you already put your energy away from them. The High Priestess card is clarifying the Wheel of Fortune. Meaning you knew intuitively that this is not your person. Like, something about it is just like, I know that this is not it for me. Like, yes, this person did help me. Yes, they did help me out of the cold. But I want to move forward. Somebody is coming in um, to help you move forward, Sagittarius. Somebody is coming with fast communication. We have... Um, excuse me, the Eight of Wands. Is this Eight of Wands? Oh, okay, your yeah, Eight of Wands clarifying the Three of Pentacles. 
And then we have the moon card. Okay, so this person is going to be trying to come back in, Sagittarius. Um, once they realize and see that you are really not fucking with them, like, no. Like, and they're going to see that, okay, like, damn, the universe not even on my side with this shit. The universe not even helping me with this shit. Like, yeah, no. The, the tables are turning. The cycle was completed. What you were supposed to do there, you completed. Like, that's it. That's it, my nigga. Like, go, go home. What, what is your mama? So, my thing is, with this, with the Eight of Wands clarifying the Three of Pentacles, this person is going to be stressed out, still trying to control you. They're coming in fast. They still coming in. This person may be trying to come in to change your mind, but they either calling you, they texting you, they calling you back to back, showing up to your job, popping up on you in areas where, you know, y'all at the same place. Like, this person just being a little freaking irrational. And it's because... They know that you now know the truth about the situation and you want to remove yourself out of the situation because you don't want to be a part of a third party situation where there's full of lies and deception. You could have found out that everything that this person told you was some bullshit. This person was nothing. This person was full of shit, basically, like. Through you going through this path with this person, this person don't understand that they exposed themselves. That you was able to see, like, I see the real you. I see the real you. And not only does this person, this person is really full of darkness. I don't even know how y'all attracted somebody like this. This person got an evil ass soul and a big ass nose. I'm starting to call it like I see it, but this person likes to drown in their emotion. This person is very emotional. For some of you guys, this person got Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio on their chart. At the bottom of the deck, we got the fucking death card. I'm telling you, when you try to end this situation with this person, they're going to try to come in even more and be even more upset and offended that you found out that they lied, that they was deceiving you. Like, uh, who gets mad about me wanting, why would you get mad about me wanting to cut you off because I found out the truth? A narcissist, a person that is not men mentally stable in the head. Once I realize that this is not my cup of tea, yeah, I have the right to leave. What the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah, three of swords energy. The three of swords is clarifying the four of swords. So, like I said, you could have found out that this person put you in a third party situation. Um, both of you guys feel the same about each other. Maybe that's what I'm picking up. Like, you feel stabbed in the heart. They feel stabbed in the heart. Everybody stabbed in the heart. Third party, you and the person. Every fucking body. And you don't want to deal with this person. Like, you don't want to deal with the smoke, the mirrors, the illusions, the bullshit. No. The third parties. No. And you feel like you, you feel like you're tired of crying over spilled milk is what I'm picking up. You're tired of being in the bed. You're tired of being upset. You're tired of thinking about what you could have done better. You're tired of thinking about, oh, I hate fucking being here. Oh, this is so draining. Oh, it's beautiful outside. I wish I could go outside. Like, you're tired of that. You want to be happy with somebody in a happy, committed relationship with dogs. <laughs> Not with dogs, but like, you want like the picket fence, the dogs, the children, the nice house, maybe your grandmother is the one watching the kids. We got overflow of abundance. I'm telling you, your heart, your mind, your body, your soul yearns for that. And I don't think you're going to be emotionally stable until you get that. Because this coming straight. Hey, yo, this person. Y'all don't have to be careful. This person is a little bit blinded when it comes to their emotions. They're a little irrational. They think the way that they are reacting and acting or acting and reacting, whatever they can, however you want to put it. They feel like they have validation for it. Concrete. I got a reason to act like this, but not understanding logically. That's not how you act. I don't care how much you invested in the situation. Grow the fuck up. That's not how the fuck you act. Because they ain't going to do shit but make me not want to fuck with you even more. You think you're going to come... Cussing at me, trying to put your hands on me, fighting fighting me, being aggressive towards me. You think that's going to help you out to get back with me? No, it's not. Under no circumstances. And I'm about to block you. And go in hermit mode where you can't even find me. Ooh. 
Don't make me get ghosts on your motherfucking ass. The Emperor. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, you want a true man. You don't want somebody that's going to do this. What did I just tell you? Trying to fight me. The Five of, five of Wands is all about fights competition like battles unnecessary drama unnecessary energy like you could put those swords down and have a normal person normal conversation Sagittarius this person literally it was just you up against this person this person um had uh, other people helping them out to attack you and that's why you don't want to deal with this person because it was too much it was just way too much you like I could I'd rather be by myself than to deal with all this. Like I don't got time, but I do want want you to know, Sagittarius, your ships are coming in. Um, when your ships do come in, there's a need for you not to be defensive to this emperor energy here, this Aries, because this person is gonna come off a little controlling. Aries, they be coming off very demanding, a little controlling, but they're not. They could be. Let me not lie. We have the Eight of Pentacles. So focus on your work. Don't focus on what this person is doing. This person is doing all of this stuff towards you energetically because they're juggling their emotions right now. They want a reaction out of you. They really can't believe that it's over. Normally, you fighting and arguing with this person. You ain't fighting and arguing with them no more. You don't even want to talk. You don't even want to see them. Yeah, because cycles are closing. Things are changing. The world card. Yeah. Things are coming to a close. When it comes to this connection with this person. And then we got the Queen of Wands at the bottom of the Dizak. Alright, y'all. So, what I'm going to do is put this deck of cards right here. And then I'm going to pull you guys some spirit animal oracle cards. And then I'm going to get y'all some raw cards. And then we're going to close out the reading, okay? I hope that you guys are enjoying the reading so far. Please go ahead and hit the thumbs up button for your girl if you are enjoying this reading so far. And if not, it's okay. You don't got to. I don't never like to press people when doing nothing they don't, don't got to do. You know, you don't have to. I just would like for you to. But, yeah. Okay. Okay. Somebody is talking about y'all. Like somebody waits till they leave the house to talk about you. Like something like that. Like this person got some sneaky ass energy. Like this person do a lot of shit behind your back. And they try to act like they there for you. Like they fuck with you. And it's like, oh, sorry, you don't fucking fuck with me. Like, nigga, I know you be talking about me behind my back, nigga. <coughs> so, <coughs> excuse me. So, we have Sing Your Own Song, which is Canary Spirit. We have Buffalo Spirit, the Abundant Universe Will Provide. And then we have Koi Fish Spirit, There Is Always Enough. So, um, Sagittarius, you need to know that it's okay for you to take a leap of faith and move away from this person and move on to somebody new. You do not have to feel stuck or bound to this person or feel like that you are obligated to deal with this person because of how long it's been and what this person did for you, what they provided for you, none of that. Like, you don't got to stay in no situation with anybody that's mistreating you, abusing you, being in competition with you, low-key envious of you, jealous of you. You know, every time you get something new, they side on you, all kinds of shit. Like, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. I don't got to go into detail because you already been going through this shit. So, you know what the fuck going on. You know what the fuck you have been experiencing and what the fuck you see and how this motherfucker make you feel. So, therefore, it's time for you to do your own thing and no longer be afraid to do your own thing. No longer be afraid to say, you know what? I don't want to do this anymore because I don't want to do it. Claiming your independence is part of singing your own song, meaning you're doing it solo, dolo. You don't need nobody else. And if you are feeling lonely or you feel like you're going to be lonely along your journey or you do suffer from loneliness, just know that the abundant universe will provide. Somebody's birthday is December the 10th or December the 12th, December the 9th. And you need to know that you always have enough. Everything that you have around you, 
you can work with. You may, you may not look at it like you got enough, but you do got enough. You got more than enough. And if you don't have the things that you need, the abundant universe will provide those things that you need. But Spirit wants you to know that there is some things that you already have around you that you can work with. Some of you guys are feeling like you may not want to move forward or you could be afraid to sing your own song because you don't it's like the fear of the unknown and also you need to know nothing is wasted okay just because you invested in this connection and it didn't work out the way that you wanted or this is not your soulmate or the person you was going to be with forever or marry does not mean that you wasted time you wasted energy you wasted years in a way if you did not experience this like i said if you don't know better you you won't do better you know this was the kind of learning lesson kind of situation and i'm sorry to say but you had to go through this relationship and this experience with this person in order to understand what what you really want from men or women because for some of you guys i was picking up same sex uh relationship we have thick on your feet so this is a uh, fox spirit thinking on your feet meaning like um Be prepared to think very, very fast. Like, you're going to need to be on your toes, okay? You're going to need to be on your toes. Whatever whatever this is that you're going to need to be on your toes about, spirit is going to have your back within this situation. Like, this could be starting over, starting something new, but, you know, you got to, you got to, you got to do it. Spirit, any more messages before I move on to my raw deck? Let spirit be your guide. Thank you, spirit. So for those of you that, excuse me, are struggling with um, how to move forward, how to manifest moving forward, what to say, what to do, how to move, who to trust, just let spirit be your guide. Call on them, ask, ask your spirit angels and spirit guides to come in. I'm giving you permission, my spirit angels and spirit guides, to come in. I am trying to reclaim my power. And I need you guys assistance. Spirit, my spirit angels, ancestors, and guys. Can you please be with me and guide me? I'm inviting you into my home. They will come, baby. Look. Oh, look. That's crazy. Look. What did it say? Look. Be at home. I said, look. They'll come to your home. All y'all do is just invite them. And they, they'll come in there. Trust me. They, they'll, they do. Mm-mm. They don't mind. I'm going to actually put these up here because I'm going to have to um, clear these cards up. So, next time I'm going to get y'all some. Uh -uh. I guess y'all need some um, chakra cards too. I guess I'll put y'all some of them to Sagittarius next. So, these are my raw cards. These are a little ghetto. They get down and dirty, but we going to. I need some more precise messages in regards to like details. I like details. When people tell me a story, even in general, when I'm talking to my friends, when they tell me a story, I'm like, bitch, what is the details? Give me the details. Don't give me no vague story. Like, give me what's happening. Like, give me the business. You know what you feel? I'm telling y'all, this person, um, for some of you guys, you dealing with somebody that has like anger issues i just want to put them over there so i'll get them ones mixed up with the ones that i'm currently using okay but um uh, for some of you guys this yeah me, this person has um anger issues this person does not handle their anger properly they don't know how to channel their anger when they get upset they don't even know how to like just talk calmly like you could be upset and maybe you could have a little attitude in your voice. But you ain't sitting there yelling at nobody. You know what I'm saying? Intimidating somebody. Like, this person does not know how to channel their energy, their anger, when they are upset. They project when they are upset. That was just something I was picking up. Okay, let's, let's keep going. Spirit. Oh, this don't feel right. Why don't this feel right? And you could have been saying that about this person the whole time. Like, just something about this just don't feel right. Like, 
I don't know what it is. It just don't feel right. Like, it just don't feel right. Like, something about this person just... I don't know, y'all. For some of y'all, it's like not enough attraction. For some of y'all, this person, you're not attracted to this person. We have, it's been years. We gonna, we gonna uh, figure that out in a minute. I'm in love with you. So it could have been, this person could have been in love with you for years. And then we have regret. Yeah, I, I think for you, your emotions are up and down with this person. Like, there was a point in time when you was in love with this person, but then when they started doing low vibrational shit, want to be in competition with you, be envious to you, you know, just doing off the bullshit, like off the sex shit, like off some weirdo shit. Like, am I really sleeping with my enemy at this point? Like, that, there was awesome shit like that. Wearing a mask, you like, this motherfucker hanging around the same people they're talking about. This person telling you that they want you and other people. Like, this person just had you all the way fucked up, which caused your emotions to be up and down. And eventually, like, you fucking, you start to regret this shit. Like, why the fuck did I even invest in this fucking person? It says, smart ass mouth. So, this person may think that you got a smart ass mouth. And this person may have been trying to... Change the way that you talk. Change the way that you do stuff just so they can control you the way that they want to control. You got some guys who will literally be like, yeah, you know, you don't got to talk to me that way. You don't got to, um, yeah, don't don't curse me out. But then I turn around and curse you out. And it's like, you told me not to curse you out for me to respect you, but you're not giving me the same respect that you want in return. And the only reason why I haven't been cursing your ass the fuck out is because your little, your little bitch ass, your little crybaby ass, and you can't take it. So I can't even be me and talk how I fucking talk. Because I got to be sy sy sympathetic and empathetic to you thinking that I got a smart ass mouth. You feeling like I'm unkind because I'm just speaking my mind. I'm not unfucking kind. I'm speaking my mind. Your sensitive man just can't take it. Like this person was that kind of person that would literally tell you to change yourself. And then wouldn't even fucking do shit to change they so this person ain't doing shit to change they so this person is the same way if not worse i would say the the only the woman i was telling y'all earlier with the light and the dark it was things that you did not know of them just yet like you had an idea because you got a strong intuition you knew something was too good to be true but it was like um this person didn't show you both sides at the same time this person didn't show you their good side and their bad side and gave you the opportunity to choose if you want to deal with them. No. This person only presented their good side first. And that's why you fell for the bullshit. The okie doke. It says it's time to release negativity. It's no longer serving you and your highest good. Like I'm telling you some of y'all. This person is a negative fucking nasty. Like every time y'all get something new. A new opportunity. Anything new. Whatever it is. Whatever it is the new that you be trying to do. And you know what I'm talking about. This person just be, this person ain't happy for you. They side eye you. Um, they very pessimistic about it. They think negative about it. Like it's just something about that energy. When you tell them something, automatically it's something negative that they have to say in response to what you're saying. And you like that had nothing to do with what I was talking about. Why are you bringing that energy into the topic? We have undercover, so you need to be careful for this person because this person does hide behind. And, this person does wear a mask and they do hide behind their true intentions and motives. Yeah, this person is a hater. That's why the fuck they act and, you know, that's why they move the way they move and do the shit that they do. This person may do love you, but the, for the same reasons that they love you, the same reasons why they hate you. You need it. There's a need for you to pay close attention to this person and... and when I say pay close attention, keep your motherfucking mouth closed. Use your common sense and stop talking. Keep quiet and stop talking and hit twice. So for some of y'all, y'all need to stop close your goddamn mouth. Look, and then we have stop explaining yourself. For some of you guys, you need to stop talking because that's how this person is um getting ahead. And stop having sex with this person, okay? If you know damn well you don't want to deal with this person no more, just stop having sex with them, okay? Just cut it off. 
For some of you guys, this person is opportunist. They know that you're destined to be abundant here with this Ten of Pentacles energy here. That's the only reason why they're sticking around or they want to... Look at this. And they know you're destined to be abundant. They already know. Spirit, give me some messages in regards to my Sagittarius. So some of y'all, this person is a freak. That's what turn you on. Say the answers you need are coming very soon, Sagittarius. So, like I said, all you got to do is just chill right now. All you need to be doing is just chilling, just relaxing, you know. Don't really show no emotions right now. You don't want to show... Don't show your emotions through your actions, basically. Just, even though you may be feeling some kind of way, you feel defeated. You may be angry. You may be pissed off. You may be still around this person. Things may not have transpired yet. But the answers you need are coming soon in regards to what you're going to do moving forward. And how are you going to move forward? I'm not taking them. I don't know why. Just left them out there like that. I worry I would never get you back. Uh, never. Like, ew, gross. For some of you guys, this person is so gross. Like, this person is really gross. We have children all involved, kids, or pregnancy. So, this person could have got someone pregnant, or this person has kids that are affecting this connection. Um, for some of you guys, this person act, act, act like what, for some reason, this person just act like you wasn't a big deal when they were, they, I don't know. Like, this person just wore so many masks. Like, so many freaking masks. We have Capricorn energy here. The devil, did the devil card come out? I think it did. And then Secrets. So, there are going to be some things revealed. Sagittarius, did that devil call come on? I mean, not that I need to see it again, but I just was trying to figure out if it came out. You know what I'm saying? Like, this, per this person does struggle with telling the truth, Sagittarius. And this person really feels like that they... Oh, it's just a white lie. Oh, it's just a white lie. We have your commitment is being tested. And it's like, a lie is a fucking lie, you fucking liar. So that's like if you found out that I did some shit and I confront you confront me about it. And I said, oh, it's just a white lie. It's just something small. And it may not be small to you. It may be small to me. It may not be small to you, but since it, it, it ain't. You know what I'm trying to say? Like this motherfucker mind, their mental state of being, their logic thought process is just fucking on a third grade level. Like, please just. Go home to your mom, please. I just cannot. This person is just too immature. Like, maybe that's why the children are involved. Because this person acts so fucking immature. This person act like a fucking child. You probably feel like you, like you, like you taking care of a fucking child. Um, something is still missing, and I'm trying to figure out what it is. And then that's the thing. You don't have time for this person to figure figure out all of that. Then we have yes. So there is a strong need for you to pay close attention because whatever is about to come to you, whatever answers that you need that are coming to you very, very soon, in order for you to figure out the answer, you're going to have to pay close, att close attention, observe, keep quiet, use your common sense, Hello, we know this ain't always common, but you better have some Sagittarius. You better. Spirit, um, give me some. Ooh, that call was mean when it came out. That call was like you wanted to fight. Um, we have finesse in you. Again, like I said, this person is an opportunist. This person knows that you're destined to be abundant with the Ten of Pentacles energy here. <sighs> And my thing is, like, one thing about people, do you know that you're never finessing me? You're never really getting over on me. Like, God sees everything. God sees what you're doing. Do you think that you're getting away with this? Like, no. No. 
God will judge your character and your personality. God sits high and he looks low. I promise you, if you do something towards me, or whoever the Sagittarius says, you, you will you will be receiving your karma. I'm going to put it to you just straight. Who can I run to? You will be trying to figure out who can you run to. You can be able to run no goddamn where. How the fuck you going to outrun the fucking universe? How you going to outrun God? We have exhale. So, um, there's a need for you to let what has what has what you've been experiencing you need to like purge that emo purge them emotions out like let that out it's been a lot of things that you've been holding in Sagittarius it says I can't I can't seem to find the right words to say to you for some of you guys you don't even want to hear what this person has to say you don't really care it's nothing to talk about it already happened I, I, I see I see what I need to see there is no talking what, what do we need to talk about Something happened in the month of March and January with a Taurus. We have your words affect me in, way, in ways you would never understand exactly. Like, I got to say to you, what words? Look, didn't I say something happened with a Taurus? So, you could have said something to a Taurus in the month of January or March. Something could have happened with a Taurus, something like that. Um, comment down below. We have commitment. And then this is the second time it came out. Your commitment is being tested. Something, something happened, bro. Mind your business. Woo! Somebody is interesting. You remind me of my ex. Either you said this to this person or this person said that to you. It says, I didn't follow my heart. Something about you guys are opposites. Anyone message this spirit before I move on to the chakra deck? Any more messages, spirit, for the sign of Sagittarius? Any more raw messages for the sign of Sagittarius? Any more messages? I only want you, you mean the world to me. Like, yeah, of course you're going to be saying that now. I'm about, I'm about to cut you off. Duh. Duh. That's what people do. I only want you to do me to run to me. Shut the fuck up. Go cry me a motherfucking river hole. Shut the fuck up. Bitch. Ooh, y'all better than me because, bitch. I don't know. I would sit up there and laugh at your ass, bitch. Cry. I don't give a fuck. Some of you guys, this is a, a Gemini. But the only reason why I feel that kind of way is because you really see clearly now. You see that this motherfucking son of a gun really played you like play mind games with you like you got me fucked up like you had me going through all of this just because you because you had time today like this person was unnecessary the stuff that they put you through the stuff that they did was like for what good and bad times and it says i'm not with them for love only the money remember i told you this person's opportunist this person is just waiting for you to get the right opportunity the right thing the right this the right that they waiting for you to get on your feet and people like this you got to be careful because they will help you help you help you help you help you and will act like they're helping you and be in your corner or just try to stay in your corner to act like they're helping you and they're really waiting on what you're supposed to receive your blessings your unfinished business you could have fucked up a job in the past and now your karma's over now you're about to get back on board with working a better job and getting your shit back in order and this person like shit well i mean I don't, uh, i'm trying to be a part of that shit uh, i want some of that but they're not in it for the right reasons like this person only there's something about this person don't like you for you like they don't I left you before you could leave me. Well, that's perfectly fine with me. And I'm pretty pretty sure it's fine with you, Sagittarius. The trash can take itself out. If you decide to do that, please go. And then you turn around to them. We have a strong connection. This person, like I said, is fucking delusional. They fucking crazy. One minute, one minute they ready to go. One minute they left you. Because they thinking... Whew, this is just a lot of energy. One minute they leaving you because... They just in their motherfucking head. I mean, you all gonna leave them. I ain't gonna lie. Well, like, but the thing is, they ain't know that. They ain't know the fuck that you was gonna leave. Because you ain't figure out that you was gonna leave until they start showing their ass. You ain't decide that you was gonna leave until they start showing the fuck off. That's, that's, that's when that conclusion came about. 
So everything was all motherfucking fine and dandy at one at one point of goddamn time before I got before I started seeing the illusions and the lies that you was giving me, the breadcrumbs that you was giving me, acting like you doing a big motherfucking deal. You ain't doing nothing. You ain't doing shit other than what the average person supposed to motherfucking do for themselves. And if you think you deserve a motherfucking cookie or an award for you showing up for yourself as you should, as you're supposed to, what the fuck? If you say you're in a relationship, show the fuck up. Don't try to base it off of, oh, yeah, you know, I did this because, you know, like, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Like, I don't even like this part. I'm so fucking tired of listening to what the fuck they got to say. I am, I am, I am. I'm tired of being in their energy because they sound dumb. Like, you sound so childish, so fucking dumb. You sound like a weak ass, like a weak link. Like, you're the fucking weakest link. Like, get the fuck on. Like, I don't know. They just throw me the fuck off. I do not like that little, they, they, it's like they got a creative manipulation kind of mind. Like a patient, patient creative manipulation. That's what it comes off like. This person is patiently waiting to manipulate you to steal from you. Like, for their own self-sufficiency. But how the fuck are you being self-sufficient by stealing from somebody else? That's not self-sufficiency. Self-sufficiency is when you do your own fucking work. You just sit up there waiting, waiting around. Just waiting. Press. Press. Opportunists, but you know I'm, I'm and then they try to mold you. Like you gotta be careful for the motherfuckers that try to mold you. Yeah, you know I'm okay with my woman working and I don't work. Yeah, motherfucker, you is okay with your woman working. And not you working because you was the opportunity. You got hitting agendas and hitting motives. Ain't no real man in a right frame of mind. You could tell the energies because it is some genuine stay-at-home dad. Some genuine men who want to be that kind of way. But then you got the ones out here who will speak like that. That's what they want the whole time. They just trying to get you where. Like they trying to manipulate you to get you to a certain point in your life. So they can, you can feel comfortable enough to give it to them. Fuck no. Don't trust this person. This person is not to be trusted. So we have the sixth chakra, which is the third eye chakra, which represents wisdom and discernment. I'm going to read this for you because the font may be too little. It says, I am open to understanding the spiritual truths behind the situations occurring in my life right now. Listen up, Sagittarius. I offer my wisdom to assist others along their path. I trust in a higher source to guide me and to help protect others who ask for my guidance i practice discernment and i listen deeply within for the truth i choose to respond to rather than just react to situations i act with clarity courage and conviction the next card that we have out here for you sagittarius is the second chakra which is the sacred chakra which represents um well-being it says i honor and respect my body by giving it what it deserves to thrive i provide myself with the best of food exercise water relaxation therapeutic treatments and thoughts i only consume foods and liquids that were designed by nature to be in my body i stimulate my body's energy flow with exercise I make time to rest as stillness and tranquility are vital to keep my mind and body rejuvenated. Any more um, sacral chakra messages for my chakra wisdom cards for my uh, Sagittarius? I said sacral chakra. <laughs> That's what you need to work on. So you need to work on your six, your second chakra and your sixth chakra, which is your, sac your sacral and then your third eye. So, yeah. But with the third eye chakra, all you need to focus on is your wisdom and discernment. And with your second sacred chakra, you don't, you don't, have, you don't have to work on a, the whole entire thing. But focus on that part of well-being, your well-being, like your health. Okay, so next we have the first chakra, which is the base chakra, which represents responsibility, Sagittarius. So I put myself on solid ground by constantly taking responsibility and having personal accountability for all that I do. I allow others to depend on me being responsible. My actions speak louder than my words. I rise above excesses and overindulgence. As I forgive myself for my past indiscretions, 
I know I could not have acted in a more evolved way than I was able to at the time. So this is just taking responsibility for your actions and also forgiving yourself, Sagittarius, and also knowing that you was at a level in your life where you, your, your level of thinking, your perception, your level of consciousness is why you accepted what you accepted at that time. And you know that now that you have risen above it because you're not in the same situation that you was in the past. You're not even the same kind of person because you've taken so much accountability and responsibility to, you know, forgive yourself from the past and, you know, to just come to terms with those past indiscretions. Um, my thing is, in your life right now, Sagittarius, you need to practice discernment. You need to really practice discernment and try to always go within and look for the truth within. You know, this person can really convince you. That, I don't know if they still can, but I am picking up that if they know how to get you. That's what I'm saying. Like, this is the kind of person that will work hard at all costs. They know how to get you. And I, I need you to get a little stronger with your practice of discernment and just listening deeply within yourself, with your intuition, with the High Priestess card. Um, Just listening for the truth so you can respond within the way that you're supposed to within what's on your path. That's why I want you to really use discernment because this person may give you another illusion and what the fuck you gonna believe it again? No, you need to be enlightened. You need a different perspective, which is the truth. That's what perspective you need, the truth. Your perspective needs to tra change when it comes to what this person is telling because it ain't the truth. This person is not telling you the truth about anything. It's because they have a hidden agenda. Like I said, they're trying to get, get money from you. This person is in it for money. They want something from you. Whatever it is, they want it. And they're here for it for the long run. They don't care how long it's going to take. They know it's coming in for you. I don't know if this person checked into your birth chart. If this person maybe is intuitive too like you. If this person did some shit with the stars or something. But this person knows something about you. And they're waiting for whatever it is you're supposed to receive to come in. And like I said, not to mention, y'all going to have to be careful. Because if you don't want to share with this person, but you're not you're not but you not wanting to share with this person is going to cause this person to get violent with you it's going to cause this person to want to harm you this person been in competition with you secretly i don't even i don't even know like how y'all missed that how if for some of you guys pay attention this person every time this person do some shit towards you they lose out this person just lost their job ain't no kawiki they, they lost their fucking job why do you think they lost their job? Do your research, Sagittarius. I'm going to go ahead and let y'all go because I got to do um, a lot of more readings today. I have a busy day today on my schedule. So, um, I hope that you guys stay to the end. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to my channel. And if you are a new subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing to the Van Halen family. And if you are uh, returning subscriber, you stay to the end, girl. Thank you, period. So as you already know, we OGs. Drop a comment down below. This reading resonated with you. If not, you know what I'm saying? Because some people don't like to leave comments because they don't like to talk about their business. But um, it's up to you to show me some love or not. But yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. Like I said, once again, I appreciate y'all. Namaste. Mwah.